Sure. Uh, it's a new office in the State Department. It's about uh, 18 months old. Uh, I'm the first special representative for city and state diplomacy. And we created this office because we know that local leaders uh, are closest to the people. They're the ones who experience the impact of international issues like COVID, like uh, effects from climate change, um, like cyber uh, attacks. And we wanted to connect the those people, those local leaders, with leaders, uh, uh, federal leaders in Washington who focus on those issues. Also, we know that when local leaders are globally engaged, they can bring back good benefits for their people. They can bring back jobs, ideas, cultural ties, and we want to support our American local leaders in doing that. Uh, and this is the first time that we've brought a group of local leaders to a country um, and we're connecting them with their local officials here and hope that those relationships last and that the people are more connected and business becomes more connected as well. When top leaders of the countries meet, one of the first things they discuss is economic projects. What's going to be the flagship economic project, the very first one, uh, in a way that uh, will be carried out through this process? That will be up to the local leaders to decide. Um, we have a local leader here, Paige Cognetti, the mayor of Scranton, um, and her people, like uh, her business community, as well as the business community of the other leaders here, they will they will work together to decide. Um, we at the State Department never tell local leaders what to do. That's up to them. We try to make the connections and support them. <laughs> Uh, while we're speaking about democracy and democratic values here, a few days ago there was quite a rough clash between police officers and demonstrators. Of course, there was uh, an immediate statement that followed by the U.S. Embassy uh, in reaction to what happened. And there were about 20 civil society organizations that uh, condemned these clashes as not uh, conforming to the democratic standards. So how does this all, how does this all uh, go together, this process and what it's recently just happened again? What I can say is that, of course, in a democracy, the right to peacefully assemble is essential. It is also the case that once you have established a democracy, the way to make political change is through the democratic system.